Hey guys, how's it going? We got our first Edison deck profile, back-to-back -back winner. Uh, by your shooter, Akuma, the homie. <laughs> uh, so, what Edison deck are you playing today? Dude, I play the best deck in the format. Uh, oh, I think it is the best deck in the format. I play Light Swords. All right, let's see it. All right, so you get uh, three Rikos. Uh, he's like, he's pretty good for mills, and you get to destroy something on the on the field, which is pretty cool because uh, in this format you don't have to worry about ash and like stuff like that. Makes so sense. it's always good. Uh, spot removals are always good. Yep. Uh, except when you get uh, what is it? Cross out. Cross out. They get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we want to have four names on the field on the graveyard at all times. Uh, the best mill. Uh, has to be Wolf. Wolf. Uh, every time he's mailed from the deck, you get to special summon it. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a 2100 beater, which is pretty good. Uh, not a lot of things can get over it. Uh, you know, but it's uh, if you have it in your hand, it's basically dead unless you get other cards that we have in the deck. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I played two of these. Um, the ratios on this one, it all depends on if whoever wants to play it. Uh, I see people play it at three. I see people playing at one, but I like to see. I see. I like to see the the card at least once mm -hmm. because you can get at least that effect that 300 boost on uh, on the first damage is actually pretty good, and you get to mill two at the end of the turn, which is what you want to do essentially. Yep. You know, uh, you play one of this guy uh, again. You can play with the ratios, but for me, this works better. Uh, he doesn't really do much. He's just a uh, 1850, but he doesn't really do much aside from being just a name. And for names, I mean, it's it's all good, but you don't really need him. If but just for name, just, just for name. name. Uh, I play this guy. Uh, this guy is actually pretty good whenever he's on the field. Uh, I'm not sure if on the graveyard too, but like on the field, you cannot your opponent cannot target any light swarm monsters. Which is kind of good because uh, bottomless trap hole targets, mm -hmm. uh, dimension of fissure targets, uh, a lot of like a lot of things target in this format, and this card just says no to them. Like you can't even target it yourself either, but it just says no to a lot of things. Uh, I play these are the one ofs. Uh, I play one Lila again. You can also play with the racials. It depends on you. She's her effect is really good, but it depends on how you want to play it. Uh, again, she's just there for the name also, and her effect is really good. Uh, but yeah, it, it works out for me at least. Okay. Uh, one summoner, because she's uh she's only at one, <laughs> and it's only for a good reason. You pitch any of these guys, and you can target any other ones and bring them back into the field. Um, so that's why I'm assuming that's why she got limited to one because she's she's that good. And then in this format, special summoning from the graveyard, or special summoning at all, like it's very powerful in this format. Uh, we got another one of this is really good, especially when you're playing against uh monarch uh, frog monarchs. Uh, everything gets to first on defense. Uh, when you attack with her, she's gonna shuffle the the card back into the deck if that's in defense position. So she'll she'll sing, uh, send back the treeborn frog. I think it's called. Yeah. Yeah. Treeborn will send it back to the deck, and then now they can't special summon it on their standby again. So it's always pretty good to see this one, but you don't want to search it unless you just get it or you need it. But other than that, you don't, you just leave her in the deck. Makes sense. She's too good. She is too good. Uh, I play two of her. This is another one that you can play around with. Uh, you can play, choose to play one. Uh, choose to play one because you, it can be a brick. I have drawn this back to back all the time. Like I have my hand, my starting hand, and then my sixth card is the same card. And I already have this and I don't have any of these pieces. So sometimes it does brick. But I like to see it, and I, and I still wouldn't change it, even though I kind of break sometimes with it. The deck has been performing really good uh, with the two of them. Uh, it just depends on you whether you want to change it or to one, and then maybe up her, or up this guy, or up this guy right here. So it just depends on what uh, what you want to do. But I, if you were to drop this, I suggest to put her at two. Okay. That's that would that would be my recommendation. Uh, this deck wouldn't be good without this guy. Uh, <laughs> we get the the boss. The boss, you know. So we need four names in the graveyard. 
uh dd crow is a thing but that's why we have extra monsters so we can complete the floor exactly uh and you know you pay a thousand you nuke the field and he can special summon himself for 3k like bro that i've, I've gotten games where like they're like five minutes long bro like <laughs> Like the longest one thing is like shuffling the deck and then giving it to my opponent so he can cut it and and then I just win within like the next five minutes and we're just say, sitting there like okay cool <laughs> crazy but uh, yeah that's that's how strong this deck can be all right uh, this uh, those are the light swords now we got the the support cast for the deck uh, I play too honest because you can only play too honest and honestly it's too powerful. Uh, yeah, honestly <laughs> yeah you just yeah she's too powerful uh we play one super, super nimble. nimble uh because this guy will get us into the rifle uh whenever they hit that they'll just bring this and set it Crazy. so yeah we have a follow-up mm -hmm. or even if they choose to attack because they know it's a rifle so they're not gonna they're not gonna want to get rid of one of their monsters exactly you know so it's like yeah uh we play one of uh one card trooper because he mills and he's at 19 and when he gets destroyed you get to draw a card so uh this right here um i don't know how i don't know if people like it or not uh i like it uh because i there's times where i bring in Raikou. Mm -hmm. i make a level five uh i synchro for a level five this deck can go into synchros uh it just depends on how you play the deck but you can go into synchros and you can brain control or mind control their their tuners and then you can synchro and that's why we have an extra deck too right. uh, but yeah i like i like that one and then there's times that i also bring in uh which is my next card uh the plague spreader. Plague spreader. So, uh, whenever he's in the graveyard, and uh, I actually did it earlier against my friend, right? Uh, Yummy Mike. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> <laughs> so we were playing. He had a synchro for a six. I play this guy. Brings this. Targets this in the graveyard. Brings it in. Brain control his monster, and then synchro with his monster. Yeah. So now I got a Stardust of the field. So Crazy. pretty good. Uh, and he has a unique, a pretty cool effect that you can return one of your cards to the top of the deck. And then, uh, and then he special summons, but vanishes at the end uh, when he leaves the field. Uh, so it's pretty good when you have Wolf, and you can just put it in there. Uh, where is he? You put Wolf on top, and then if you can mill it uh, with Card Trooper, then he goes special summon it. So, mm. so it's a pretty cool combo. But it's if it comes up, uh, we got a one up again, uh, Nick Gardner. Uh, whenever you're in trouble, he goes into the graveyard. Why not? Remove it and stop the attack. Uh, you get hit, you have nothing on the graveyard because, I mean, on the field, because normally you don't have anything on the field. Makes sense. Uh, you get hit, and it's like, this is like a last resort type of card. Like, you just hold this in your hand. You don't try to get rid of it. No. Um, and yeah, that's all the monsters. Uh, for spells, I got uh, Rhoda. Yeah. Uh, Brain Control. One Foolish. One MST. Uh... Two, two uh, reincarnations. Uh, you can play this at one. Uh, people normally play it at one. I've seen deck profiles and they play it at one. Uh, I like it at two because I want to get my Judgment Dragon back. Mm -hmm. I just want to win, you know. Yeah, uh, Cold Wave uh, for those back rolls. You know, uh, Black Wings is a thing here, so you got to watch out for that. Heavy Storm. Uh, you got charge of the light brigade uh, to go search for for a light sworn by sending the top three cards of your deck mm -hmm. uh, to the graveyard and then you, you go add one. Uh, this is pretty cool. I like this because I result I resulted a lot. Uh, you discard one light sworn, which it doesn't matter what light sworn. You discard one, you draw two, then they send top two, which now you're essentially adding two more names. Uh, you can mill a wolf and put it in the field. If not, you'll hit something good and you can play ju uh, judgment dragon so it's pretty good uh for for what it does yeah i'm surprised this they kept it at three and this at one but <laughs> i guess it was uh the worry of going to search whatever light sworn you wanted that mattered yeah um uh, we got a uh, torrential because summons mm -hmm. Uh, Mirror Force. Best card in the format. Best card in the format. And Beckoning Light. Now, Beckoning Light, uh, if you see any deck profiles, they have it on the side. 
Uh, I like to main it. It's it's slow, and then you can mill it with your with your cards. But yeah. I like to see. I like it that this is another way of getting my Judgment Dragon back. Plus honest, uh -huh. plus the honest. Uh, yeah, they're it's pretty good. It's pretty good. But you have to get rid of your hand though to right. get the cards back. That sucks. All right, so for those plays with the Junk Warrior, uh, Jensen yeah. Ground, this is what I do with that. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, it's 23, so it just deals damage. Uh, magical Android, just because she's she's just a level five, and honestly, Honest can help her out. <laughs> yeah. Goyle, because uh, you can bring back any monster, and he's really good, and he's not banned in this format. And he's errated it in our format, which is, is the errated, uh, which it says uh, an Earth Tuner, but on this, on the original one, it didn't have an Earth Tuner. It could be any tuner. Uh, Black Rose or Dragon de Rosa Negro. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's in Spanish version. Yeah, that's right. Um, it's pretty good. Destroys everything in the field. You know, yeah. self-explanatory. Uh, Brio, self-explanatory. For those who doesn't know, who don't know, when you summon it, it doesn't have to be on summon. But when it comes into the field, uh, you can pitch a card and then uh, return cards from your opponent's field to the hand. Mm. So it's always pretty good. It's, power it's very powerful. I think uh, Yami Mai got me with one of these oh, I did, uh, yeah. in one of the games that we had. Uh, and I thought I was just like, is that just on some? He's like, no, it's it's, it's whenever. It's yeah, like it's, it's once, per, once per, turn. per turn. I was like, oh, man, that sucks. And I had a scoop. I had a yeah, scoop. That's too much. Uh, I was playing Black Wings at that time. Yeah. Uh, we got uh, Red Dragon. Uh, he's pretty good. I don't normally make him, but, I mean, he's there. He's a beater. So if you can make him, kudos, you know. Uh, we have him because there is uh, cyber dragons. Uh -huh. There is there is machines, so you can make this and you can buff them up. Uh, so it's pretty good. Uh, Dark and dragon. <laughs> uh, I didn't know about this guy until one of the tournaments. Uh, I don't normally don't synchro, but one of the guys he's like he had my J. I had uh, judgment dragon on the field, and then he he summons this and then gets rid of it, and I was just like what how mm -hmm. but yeah so yeah but that's how i learned about this card and now i have it on the, the deck uh magician he's a pretty good summon i don't normally go into this you can normally change the ratios that you want on anything but this happens to be working for me uh, arm, uh armory arm mm -hmm. it's pretty good when you can make those level fours but i mean it doesn't really come up again you know it's more for if you can use it uh I like a taster, self-explanatory, uh, thought ruler, archfiend. Uh, yeah, I don't really make him either, but he's <laughs> he's there because you can make all of these. You the thing is, is that you can make all of these tar all, all these cards. It's just that it depends on the plays that you're making. That whether you want to commit to a synchro or you want to commit to your monsters. Mm -hmm. So it just depends on you on how you wanna how you wanna do all of this. Makes sense. Uh, I got Mistworm, uh, Shuffles three, three spot removal. That's pretty good. Colossal, which is pretty good because he can swing, kill, kill himself, and then target another warrior. Target a warrior, comes back, and he just comes back all the time. And this is the best synchro in the format. Uh, Stardust, because uh, everything destroys. Mm -hmm. Everything gets destroyed. I mean, Raikou destroys. He says no. It just says no and like comes back every turn. So, but yeah, you can make, essentially you can make all of these however you want to do them. Uh, the one you want to make the most is Stardust. That's the one you want to make the most. Unless you're like in a really tight spot, you make, you make a uh, Black, Black Rose. Rose. But if you cannot make Black Rose and you can make a six, you make Brio. These are the three main targets you want to do. Makes sense. That's good. You know, uh, so far it's been working for me. Uh, it could work for you if you if you try it, uh, give it a chance. <laughs> uh, for my side, it just depends on your locals. Uh, but I went just neutral <laughs> for everything. Uh, quick draw is a thing. Black Witch is a thing. Uh, Machina is a thing. Uh, Light Swarms is a thing. Um, so for me, this is how I wanted to base it. 
I got uh, Royal Decree for Black Rose. Yep. Uh, I mean, for uh, Black Wings, because Black Wings uh, rely a lot on traps. Yep. Uh, who else is um, Machinas have like some traps, but not a lot. But Black Wings mainly have a lot of a lot of a lot of the, the traps. Mm -hmm. uh, I play Consecrated Light. Also, this is for <laughs> Black Wings because <laughs> this just says no. And then if they try to do something, you draw or decree it so that you can stop the tributing so that you they don't get rid of the, the card. Okay. That's the little combo behind it, and that's the reason why. Uh, a lot of, there's uh, three Book of Moons, which you can also cite in. You can main them. You can take out the Reckonings, and then you can put two, book it, two books in there instead. Uh, it depends on you, but uh, I like them on the side more than in there. Okay. Uh, for uh, we got the mind control. Uh, we got mind control. Uh, but yeah. Should be there. Yeah, it's good. Uh, yeah. So you you if you want if you can you could go into this. You can side something out and put it like uh, the mind control, but I don't happen. I don't find it useful. It's just there. It's a it's a good tool to have. Uh -huh. uh, you got the two cyber dragons because this format can use the cyber dragons, and this is a light also that can honest use. Yeah, this is my my little. Uh, I guess not tech, but this is something against. Uh, Against uh, the those tribute cards, you know, a <laughs> lot of like the well, that is it, the monarch, the monarch decks. Uh, this card just says no. Uh, I played against people that play that deck a lot uh, on this in that tournament that, that we go to. They play that deck. Uh, when I went there, I didn't know they played it, but I, this is how I build it. This is exactly why I built it for that deck because I know that deck was really powerful and really popular. So I was like, I have to play these cards. Uh, if you see them, you see them. If you don't, well, you know, it happens. It happens, you know, because your deck mills them. So mm -hmm. it, it's it's just one of those things. This is now this is my uh, my spice on the deck on my side. I play uh, two Dons of Lugs. Okay. So Dons of Lug, the reason why is because on again with the Treeborn Frogs and all that stuff, the Monarchs and stuff like that. They're not. They don't want to get hit by this because instead of milling the deck, you're gonna try to hit their hand. Mm -hmm. and get rid of the stuff and which comes to my next one kaiku <laughs> if you get to have kaiku on the field uh you get to remove their graveyard remove their graveyard so these cards right here like these right here they when they see them they don't want to take the hit they they rather just like block with something use something against these guys because yeah they they have to deal with this and then they have to deal with this mm -hmm. every single deck does that though every day every single deck doesn't want to get hit by these i don't even want to get hit by those you know but people don't play this card so hey why not right yeah and uh yeah i mean this is my ratios this is what i decide to play but you can change however you want them uh I always recommend to have this for Black Wings because that's always going to be a problem mm -hmm. against your deck and you're an auto win against them if you have this. Uh, and the rest, like, it's, on, it's on you, but this is what I like. That's what's been working for me. And every single time that I played my matches, I always cited this in, this in, this in, and they came in clutch. Mm -hmm. Combo this and this against Black Wings, won me the game. Combo this and this uh, and this right here against uh monarchs mm -hmm. uh yeah frog monarch and mm -hmm. they won me the game yeah. like the guy legit like had to scoop <laughs> like he was like yeah man i can't do nothing i'm like yeah that's pretty much it yeah and there you go guys that's my deck profile for sure thank you akuma ah you're welcome many man. more wins to come i, I hope but yeah i hope so hey the last time i won uh like the last the second one that i won uh i got a uh, half a box I opened an IP, an IP Little Night. Oh, yeah. Oh, an, an SP Little Night. I mean, that thing is like 100 bucks. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> pay for the whole tournament. Hey, pay for the tournament, man. Hey. Sure. Hey, but thank you for having me in the channel, man. Yeah, thank you. Hey. All right, guys. I'll see you on the next one.